Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's uh, what's known as the X-Men. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a movie. Yeah. And there's a guy named Wolverine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the military supposedly did some, ex, uh, did some experimentation. Yeah. And that individual, when you shot him or you stabbed him, mm -hmm, for some reason, his skin had a nanotechnology. Mm -hmm. It was self-healing. Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's say you were in this whole family of individuals that thought they were werewolves. Yes. And the aspiration yes. was to uh, design a war puppet. Yes. That was similar to the Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Or you could stab them as many times as you want, but they have a nanotechnology yeah, that heals their skin so they won't bleed. Ouch. Now, um, I just wanted to make sure that you're not intentionally wanting to design yes, anything that heals itself, Wolverine. Now, um, millions of Americans receive advertisements in the mail with pictures of missing children and their... Mm -hmm. Alleged abductors. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, of all the individuals that said I was Wolverine, you know, there was this thought this morning that the United States military didn't have enough to do. Yes. And I just want to mention, if you're in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or National Guard, yes, and you have knowledge of anything existing that's not an actual citizen, yeah. Citizens do bleed. Yes, mm -hmm. they're not Wolverines. Pooch. But somebody's been getting their inspiration for the manufacturing from the X-Men. Pooch! Now listen, dog! You're intentionally designing uh, what looks like citizens. Yes. With the want, yes, of making war against the United States. Mm -hmm. And when I mentioned the military not having enough, 